Yes, the, 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 the overwhelming message of Head PE is perseverance. And uh, no matter what happens to us, we get up and we move on and we learn from our mistakes. And we always wake up to a new day with the sun shining and a, another chance. That's the message of Head PE is to, you don't give up and you always keep going. Well, okay, so, um, yes, I have some provocative lyrics, um, and I've, some feminists may have said some things, but, um, my, uh, my, um, answers are, uh, my, my answer is this, the lyrics that I'm writing are about a certain attitude, but it's, it's, it's an attitude that has to be accepted by the woman, you don't force it on them. Like, if a woman wants me to take off my belt and, and, and whip her with it, then I'll do it. But I won't do it if she says no. So, yeah, some of my... Now I'm a father. I don't write the same lyrics. But I've been doing it for 25 years. And when I started, I would write very provocative lyrics. And um, trying to shock people and give them an insight into my, you know, kind of crazy mind. But I would never um, disrespect a woman against her will. <laughs> I don't know if I miss anything. Well, you know, if I'm honest, I do miss, like, because, you know, I was on really huge record labels with so many people taking care of me. It was on the radio and on television. Um, I think I miss some of the, um, maybe some of the help from the big companies because they help you a lot. Today, I do it all myself. It's DIY, punk rock. You know, but um, maybe I miss a little bit more help to get the music out to the world. But now we have the internet, so fuck them. I don't need their help. Wow. Head PE gave me everything. Head PE, um, Head PE took away my insecurity. And Head PE t um, gave me um, security in myself as a human being and as a man it took away my anonymity but it gave me a platform to speak my mind and talk to other people that feel like i do and so it, it was i wouldn't change it. it it's i've gotten much more than i've given i guess my one favorite moment must be when i met my wife um, because she gave me a beautiful son, my only child, so that's just beautiful. Another beautiful moment in Head P.E. would be um, when I played the Polish Woodstock. That was just amazing. And, you know, another beautiful thing from Head P.E. is, I mean, it sounds corny, but coming to Sofia, Bulgaria, which is only my second time, but it's just such an amazing experience. I'm honest, it's like... Uh, one of the most beautiful places that I ever get to play music. <laughs> wow. Well, um, I can't, that's not for me to say. Because um, I may think a band is not good, and then you, someone else thinks they're good, and so that means they're good, so... I think we may think a band's not good, but if other people like it, then they're good. You know, that's the beautiful thing about music. Um, uh, everybody's opinion matters. Um, just like I think Trump is an idiot, and uh, my neighbor loves him. And it's a free world, and everybody can think what they want. Just like a band that we think is good but doesn't get famous could be for many reasons. Um, there's so many different things in the music business, you know. Uh, there's so many different variables that have to be just right for a band to become stars. 
So you never know what's going on behind the scenes, you know. The weirdest thing about head PE that I've ever heard, hmm, that is an amazing question. That's a tough one. Let me think. <laughs> I mean, there's so many crazy things, you know, like this guy out here tells me that his girlfriend wants to have sex with me. That's crazy. I let him know I have a very beautiful wife as well. You know, when you're in a band, you just hear the most ridiculous shit all the time. <laughs> Me, me, me. That's the name. Me, me, me. That and sounds good. Yeah, it sounds like a good punk band, too.